Hey guys, what's up? I'm Rothman, host from Intellect Digest, and we have been getting a lot of requests to do a gaming review of the Le One S by Le Eco or Le TV or LED TV as they call it. And this phone is a very good phone in 11,000 rupees price segment. We have done separate video reviews of this phone, unboxing and impression videos. The links are provided in the description section to the playlist which contains all the videos. In this video, we'll talk only about gaming performance benchmarks and how much it heats up while gaming. Without further ado, let's get started. Before we started our testing, we did a temperature check to check the idle temperatures of this phone. And this phone is idling somewhere between 20 to 22 degrees centigrade of temperature which is not hot for a phone. Then we played our first game, which is the Need for Speed No Limits, and the game played really smooth. Here is a quick glimpse of the gameplay experience for you. After we finished playing this game, the temperature rose to around 30 degrees centigrade. It was ranging between 29 to 31 degrees at various parts on this phone. So this phone does tend to heat up around 5 to 10 degrees on aggressive gaming. The next game that we played was Frontline Commando 2. The game did not play as smooth as the Need for Speed No Limits played on this one and we did observe some stutters and occasional frame drops here and there. Here's a glimpse of gameplay for you. The good thing however is that there is no throttling going on and the temperature is also maintained somewhere around 31-32 degrees and it's not crossing that level. So the phone feels comfortable to handle however the gameplay experience is not the most perfect one here. Next up we played the Modern Combat 5 Blackout Edition.
which again showed some stutters and some lags here and there. Although the game is playable, but it is again not the best experience that you can have on a smartphone. But to keep in mind that this phone is priced only at 11,000 rupees, expecting too much from this would also be unfair. But we are still not very pleased with the gaming experience. If you are a casual gamer and play moderate games, it should not disappoint you. But if you are a heavy gamer, this may probably bother you if you want to play heavy games on the Lava One S. Giving you benchmark scores on N22, we scored somewhere around 54,000 marks, which is good. In Geekbench, the single core score was 969 and multi core score was above of 5000, which is again good. So when it comes to benchmarks, this phone scores highly, but when it comes to playing aggressive games, it scores not so much. But still, considering that it's an 11,000 rupees phone, the value for money question is really high. So it is still a thumbs up from us. If you want to pick one for yourself, I'm leaving Best Buy links in the description section below where you can pick one up at the Best Buy price. We have done more videos on La One S and the links are provided in the description section as well as here on your screen. So do check out the other video as well. Stay subscribed for more videos from Intellect Digest. This is your host Rohit Khurana signing off. Thanks for watching.